Alright, we're going to try and solve some uh, sides on a right angle triangle. Alright, so that's the letter M. We're trying to solve for M, so we're going to use our ratio. So we've got to label our triangle with H. That's the longer side. O is the opposite side because it's opposite the angle. And remember in class, the teacher talks about these trig ratios, so ka toa. So let's write them down, eh? So there we are. we got the last one there, tan, O over A. Alright, so we've got to use O. And H. Okay, that's it. We choose the correct one sign. We put the angle in, which is 57. We put the O side, which is M on top, and the H side, which is 12, goes on the bottom. Hey, and now all we've got to do is solve. We did plenty of these in class, so I sort of remember that, but let's go through it. Uh, we've got to get rid of that divide by 12. So we put it on the other side, it becomes times. Remember, we times both sides by 12. It removes the 12, that leaves us with M. Sweet man, so M's by itself, and we got 12 times sine 57. Now I just grab my calculator, sweet my Casio, I go 12, I go times, I press the sign button, and then 57. There you go, 10.06. Man, don't forget the units, eh? That means like the, the meters or kilometers, in this case we're using kilometers. Alright, let's look at another example, eh? So remember, the first thing we do, we've got to label our triangle. The H side's the easiest, eh? There it is, it's opposite the right angle. Uh, the O side's the next easiest, and then the A side's left over. So we're using A and H. Man, let's look back at our trig ratios, because it's not easy to remember all that. There it is, in the middle. That's the cosine. Alright, so remember, it's got to be the cosine of the angle. So cos of 22 has to equal A, now A goes on top, that's 13, and the H goes on the bottom, so that X goes on the bottom. Now watch what I'm going to do here, see if you can pick it. Yeah, you saw it, didn't you? I just swapped them. Man, that's what my teacher said. But, you know, there's a real reason why that happens. But, you know, you times that side by X, times this side by X, right? So, on that right-hand side, you cancel those X's out now. And then all you do is you divide both sides by cos 22. But the teacher just said, hey, just swap them. And now we get our calculator. We just go 13, press divide, and go cos 22, sweet as. 14.02 and there it is oh don't forget the units eh millimeters sweet man let's do one more eh i reckon we can handle this one pretty sweet so again label the h do the o and then do the a okay we're using o and a let's go up there it is man that's the tan ratio o and a see so i've got to go tan I do 72, and then I do the O on top first, because that's what it says. So I put the R on top, and then I put the 17 on the bottom. And this is like the other ones, man. You just get rid of that divide by 17 by timesing by 17. So you go 17 times 10, 72. I'll get my Casio. 17 times 10, 72. 52.3. Man, that's easy as... Oh, don't forget the units. Centimeters. Easy as, bro.